Now, what is this new standard of living? My new nature demands. He gets practical, and let's go through it. Verse 25, chapter 4. Therefore, okay, because you're new, because you have every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realms, because of that, therefore, each of you must put off falsehood and speak truthfully to your neighbor, for we are all members of one body. See Dan's sermon from last week. In your anger, do not sin. Do not let the sun go down while you're still angry, and do not give the devil a foothold. Ask yourself, friend, why do you lie? Isn't it because you're still living in the old nature? It's because you're still trying to impress or avoid trouble, or you're trying to avoid conflict, that sort of thing. But what is your new nature? Your new nature is that you're one with your brother and sister, and that you've been adopted in the same family, and that you're all equally members of God's household. And so why would you put on pretenses or errors? Why would you lie to pretend you're something that you're not? In fact, why would you lie or skirt around the rough edges of the truth to try to avoid something difficult or difficult concept consequence? Because you're adopted into God's family. Your end is bliss. And if your end is bliss, you say, well, I, I got to avoid this trouble here that's staring me in the face if I'm dead honest with this coworker or family member about this thing. Well, why? Just embrace it. Get it real. Because you are fully loved and adopted and adored. So you can just be who you are, warts and all, because God has accepted you and you are already in. If you're already in, <laughs> you can stop lying. Because you lie because you want to get in by putting on a good impression. You don't need to do that anymore. 